Hey guys, I want to Tyler Dean here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to show you how you can render any Minecraft skin in Blender. So here's Blender right here where I'm spinning my mouse at. We're going to open it up, and when you first open it up, you're going to go like, what in the world is this? You'll see what I mean. So it's loading up. And... Uh, it takes a while. <laughs> But anyways, like, once it loads up, and you're gonna be surprised of what, and yeah. Just look all the settings and stuff. Uh, let me make sure I'm, actually, I think I'm still recording. Um, so, I'll leave a link to this rig that I found by his animations. You probably know him for his popular modes or Dan GDM's animations. So, we'll open recent, and then click the dot .blend file, and you'll get to Steve. And... I'll show you how to customize the skin, how to pose it, but first let's change the skin. So we're going to go to UV slash image editor, and let me get that out of the way. And let's bring it in a little bit closer. And we're going to click the little icon where it allows you to pack and unpack the file. We're going to click write file to current dictionary, also known as overwrite executing file. We're going to hit replace image by going to image and hit replace image. We're going to go to our downloads and I download this blue Nike boy skin. So we're going to click that. And then you might want to like, where's the head? Well, we have to do the same thing to this thing. So do exact same, same thing. So it's like the skin. And you might want to like, how come... You can see the blue eyes. Well, you will have to mess around with it a little bit by changing the color just like this. Whoop, wrong color. And you can just get rid of stuff like that. And also do the same thing for this or it won't render properly. So just do that. And you're ready to animate or pose. So, we can move this a little bit around here. And once we select this, it will say pose mode down here. We can move his arm and his hands. Oh, I took his arm off. Like, hello. And if you slide this down with this, well, this rig allows you to animate almost everything. If you slide this down, we can mess around with the mouth. Like, ah. <laughs> We can give it a little cheeky smile. And like, yeah. You can move the eyes around. And I, you can make it bigger. And if you want how you move in Blender, you just hold the middle mouse thing or the scrolly thing. And then move. This is for the eyebrows. And you can actually move Practically everything. Oh, that looks weird. <laughs> so, let's make him pose like he's jumping in the air. So, we're going to do this. If I can try to do it right. Or we can make him really happy. Yeah, let's do that. So, you can basically make him even taller. If you, like, bend his body if you want. And, if you want to, like... If we just go to render and it's here and there, it'll say no camera found in scene. So what we're going to do is like left click once and we're going to face the character. Because then we're going to go to object mode by clicking this and go to object mode. Hit add camera. Now whatever this camera is looking at is what's going to render the image. So we're going to hit camera view. We're going to view and hit camera. And we're going to line up to where we want. Now you might want it transparent. So we're going to go to shading and then sky. And then we'll hit transparent. When you're ready to render, just hit render image. And then it'll take a little bit depending on your computer and stuff. And it's going to render image. And it's pretty cool if you want to make thumbnails and stuff. And yeah. So let's see how it turned out. It looks pretty good so far. Oh, 
on. Yeah, it takes a little bit. And yay, it's coming along perfectly. And boop. There we are. I know, I don't know what's going on with that, but I think we're super fine. And once you're ready to save the image, go to 